Hey, this is Presh Tallwalker, and you're watching Mind Your Decisions. Here's a fun problem that was emailed to me. We begin with a square and a point in the interior of the square. We'll draw four line segments from this interior point, where each line segment connects to a midpoint of one of the square's sides. Now we've divided the square into four regions. The area of the southwest region is 16 square centimeters. Then going clockwise, the area of the next region is 20 square centimeters and then 32 square centimeters. The question is, what's this final area? This diagram is not drawn to scale and it was distributed with the tagline that you should be able to solve this. I thank Rio in Romania for emailing me this problem. Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try and when you're ready, keep watching the video for a solution. So a key principle in this problem is the formula for the area of a triangle, which is equal to one half the base times the height. So if you have a right triangle where one of its legs is the base and the other leg is the height, the area of this triangle is one half times the base times the height. But this is true for any triangle. It doesn't have to be a right triangle. So all of the following triangles actually have the same area because they have the same dimensions for the base and the height. So how can we use this principle to solve the problem? We'll go back to our diagram. Now, connect the interior point to the four corners of the square. This is going to divide the square into eight different regions. I'll color code these regions to make it a little easier to keep track of the areas. Now, focus on just these two triangles, which are along the bottom side of the square. Triangles with the same base, which is half of the square side, and the same height, which is the distance from the square side to the interior point, will have the same area because they have the same dimensions for base and height. So these two triangles will have the same area, and I'll label the area as A. We'll do this for all of the sides of the square. We'll consider the next side of the square. Because these two will have the same base and the same height, these two triangles will have the same area. And I'll label this area by the variable B. We'll do the same thing for this side of the square. These two triangles will have the same area and I'll denote it by the letter C. Now we continue to the fourth side of the square and these two triangles will have the same area and I'll denote this area by the letter D. Now, how can we solve for the unknown area? Well, let's take these variables with the given information. A plus B is equal to 16, B plus C is equal to 20, and C plus D is equal to 32. And we wanna solve for A plus D. How can we do that? Well, notice that the quantity a plus b plus the quantity c plus d is equal to the quantity b plus c plus the quantity a plus d. In other words, the sum of opposite areas are equal. So we know three of these areas. So we have 16 plus 32 is equal to 20 plus the unknown area of a plus d. We then solve that a plus d is equal to 16 plus 32 minus 20, which is equal to 28. And that's the answer. Now, if you like this problem and wanted a little bit more of a challenge, I previously discussed a challenge problem for talented fifth graders in China. We have a parallelogram, a, b, c, d, and you need to find the area of the red triangle. Remarkably, one student solved this in under a minute, and it uses the same principles that I described in this video. Did you figure out this square problem? 
Thanks for watching this video. These math videos inspire and build confidence for people around the world, and they've already accumulated over 100 million views. I believe if society truly valued mathematics, we'd have millions of subscribers and billions of views. So please help. You can subscribe for free to get the newest videos, watch and share all of Mind Your Decisions videos, which is the best way for more people to discover this channel. You can email me a puzzle or map topic at presh at mindyourdecisions.com, and you can also support this channel financially. You can check out my books, which are linked in the video description. They're great for gifts. And you can also support this channel on Patreon to earn exclusive rewards. Thanks for watching, and thanks for your support.